Microscopic load controllers are the Achilles heel of microhydro projects, meaning they are the component that fails most frequently, uh, causing a system that the community has spent uh, many days and great effort into building to not work, finally. And the key reason for this is electronic load controllers have parts that, that come from the outside, meaning they are not indigenous technology, so they require skills that are also from the outside. And so when these electronic components fail, there's typically no one there to repair. There's no capacity building there, the designs are not modular, where they can be replaced easily um, by local technicians. And since um, there are only a handful of electronic load controller developers, as um, the financial returns for such a product are very low, uh, they tend to have exorbitant prices, and yet the technology is not innovated. Technologies in the consumer modern world uh, have new revisions every six months at least. And technology for the poor, as electronic load controllers for microhydro systems, we're still using technology from 30 years ago. There's nothing that's changed on the user interface, which would be the most important part for a rural boy who's running the system to know what is going wrong with it. Um, so, our answer to these problems are to have a collective process in designing a load controller that, that works for most microhydro projects. If you talk to any developer, they will list the same issues, capacity building, lack of service, too expensive. We want to address all these issues in an open source design, which would bring um, what we want to the table. And then, if there are private developers that can at least meet this open source design and then come up with their own products, which can compete with one another, we would be way ahead than where we are now. Why we uh, need to develop open source for the TLC? Because uh, com electrical component is different uh, country to country. And I hope uh, with open source, uh, the people at this, uh, uh, this country can uh, modify it. It's more uh, uh, reliable for this uh, uh, JNIT, like, like this one. Hmm. Component of microelectronics like like this one is uh, the price is lowest and uh, performance is uh, highest. I guess is more easy to develop uh, advanced technology for people who didn't know about electronics. Mm -hmm. You just uh, it uh, repairment for repairment like like this. You just. Uh, cut the component and put new one mm -hmm. and uh, now it's uh, possible to do it. If it's properly designed, properly tested, properly uh, and simple, I think it's also it's, it's a very good idea. Uh, but of course, local know-how, appropriate training, and how to build, how to maintain, and how to uh, handle it is also more more important. They must compete with with uh, existing load controller in the term of quality and cost. Yeah. This this public open source load control must be then uh, 
course, of course, it's reliable and then uh, affordable, cheaper media, and it's not so complicated. That's the basic idea. I mean, once you try to have a lot of feature on it, then then I think the cost and the complicated the complication will will add up, and the objective of this open source will be uh, would be not be uh, gained. Yeah. It can be managed to be simple, reliable, and uh, affordable. Then go ahead. Important is for sustainable development of a sector and especially hydropower as such, which is a long-term technology, that um, the people who are involved in it can make a living out of it. Yeah? If somebody is applying an open source uh, technology just for one hydropower plant and loses the, the interest on it because he cannot make a long-term living out of it, um, that's maybe also not a sustainable development. So uh, it needs a lot of experience to run it uh, sustainable and it also needs to explain the villagers quite a lot about the technology and giving them access to after sales service. Yeah? And that needs an enterprise making a living out of the technology yeah? and not somebody just uh, having the idea to help a village. Yeah? So, but I think it's not a solution just to take something from the internet, build one controller, fail, go all over the learning process in one village. Yeah? So village is not an experimental field. Yeah? So uh, if you bring something to a village and want to help them, this should be a professional thing and it needs a professional backup.